This walkthrough will describe how to retrieve NMEA frames from modules like the EMMC74. This is the list of commands that will be needed for the walkthrough. The first step is to connect your device to your Windows computer, and you will then see that the NMEA COM port on this machine is COM54. Here we have opened two TerraTerm sessions against COM54 and COM55. COM55 is the AT Commands COM port. It is sensible to first enter the AT exclamation mark enter CND command because some of the AT commands that you need to issue are password protected. This is the standard password that comes from the factory. Next, type AT exclamation mark custom to check if GNSS is enabled or disabled. It depends on your module, and you will need to check it with the custom commands. As you can see here, GPS has been enabled, and it has been set to 1. You can enable it by using this command. It's the first thing that you need to do. Now configure the NMEA sentence and issue all these commands. The first command is AT exclamation mark GPS auto start equal to 0. This one helps to disable automatic start. As the name suggests, it causes the GPS to start automatically only on certain actions. See the command manual for details. We want it to start manually. Next, type AT exclamation mark GPS cold start to initiate cold start and delete any type of assistance data stored in the module. Then, type AT exclamation mark GPS NMEA config equal to 1, 1, which will set an NMEA output rate of 1 second. Avoid making any errors while typing the command. Type AT exclamation mark GPS NMEA sentence equal to 3F. This defines the type of sentences that you would want to see in the COM54 terminal. The next command that you will need to type is AT exclamation mark GPS fix equal to 1, 255, comma 10. This will start the unit searching for satellites and also command the module to use standalone mode rather than assistance mode. You will learn more about this later. Let's review another concept before this command runs. You should know that this module supports concurrent operation of the cellular radio and the GNSS receiver. As we open the internet connection, you will see that the module is connected to the operator in LTE mode and thus has established a session. At the same time, the search function will initiate and you will see the data coming through the COM port. The unit has started searching for satellites and if you type AT exclamation mark GPS sat info question mark, you will see which satellites are currently visible. If you type the command again, it will display a different list as the receiver continues its search pattern. To see the status, type the command AT exclamation mark GPS status question mark. When there is no TTFF, time to first fix available, it means a fix has not been found yet, but it is actively looking for one. When the search activity stops in the COM54 terminal, the unit has stopped searching. This is due to the search type specified in the command. You can issue a command to run the GPS continuously as required. If you type AT exclamation mark GPS status question mark again, you will see that the fix status now shows success rather than showing active. It also shows the duration of the first fix, which is 35 seconds. This is the time that it took to find a fix in a standalone mode without any assistance data. Now we issue the command AT exclamation mark GPS cold start, which tells you to start from zero without any assistance data such as time or position. There are two types of assisted GPS modes supported by this module. The first is called SUPL, which is a widely used standard protocol. The second is called GPS One Extra, which is a Qualcomm proprietary system. SUPL and GPS One Extra work in a similar manner where both need an internet connection and both access a server to retrieve satellite data, which is then used by the module to get a faster first fix. While the GPS One Extra servers are hard-coded in the firmware, to use SUPL, the user needs to configure the third-party server of their choice. 
This is the end of the walkthrough, and now you know how to enable GNSS and retrieve NMEA on the EMMC74 series. For questions about this process, contact your local FAE.